Hi guys, Victoria here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are in my apartment in Vienna. I have a few projects around the house that I would like to tackle with you. These are all organizing projects. I have to clean my fridge, I have to reorganize my spice cabinet, I also want to reorganize a little bit my pantry. And then as the next stage I also have some organization to do in the bathroom as well as my bookshelf. So let's see if this is going to be one or two videos, probably two separate videos. In the first one, we are going to tackle the kitchen projects, starting with cleaning out the fridge, which definitely needs a good wiping down inside and also maybe uh, getting rid of some old things that should be tossed. And then the spice cabinet is a bit messy for my liking, so I would like to clean it as well as go through the spices and see what I need to refill and reorganize it a little bit in a way that it is more functional for me. And in the pantry, I just want to do a little bit of shuffling around the things. And I also just would like to go through to see what I have, what I might need to fill as I'm running out of, and also to check what I need to use up anytime soon. So let's jump right in. I'm gonna start with emptying out the fridge. In the next step, I'm going to wipe all the surfaces with this multi-purpose cleaner. Alright, it's time to put things back into the fridge. There will be a few things that I might not put back, but I will have to toss because they are old. So let's see. Let's start with my lunch. <laughs> Leftovers. That's definitely staying. My milk. And this is staying. So these are the things that were on the door. Since the plastic parts of the door are still drying, I'm just gonna push them back into the main area just to be cooled while everything else is drying. So those are coming in here. These will be going back on the door. This one as well. These are my avocados. <laughs> They are in water. This is a trick to keep avocados, which are already ripe, not go bad. You can put them into water in the fridge and they will be very nice and green inside and soft. 
you have to do that when they're already ripe. So I was leaving them out on the counter for a couple of days and then when they were ripe, I put them in the fridge. These are going into the crisper drawers, but they are also drying. So for now, I'm just gonna put them here. I think this one I'm going to toss because it didn't taste very well and it is already expired. It was expired when I opened it. So I think this is bad. <laughs> condiments I'm gonna put in here until the door is drying but that's it I don't have many just a soy sauce or tamari a sweet and sour sauce a ketchup and a Worcestershire sauce which haven't yet expired okay I have to use it up though <laughs> actually my ketchup is expired but there's so little left I was actually eating from this lately. I tasted fine, so I'm gonna keep it and finish it. And then the rest is just drinks, so I don't have to put them back in the fridge. I will put them back when the door is ready. All right, it is time to put these back. They are dried now. Fridge is done. I mean, it's pretty empty at the moment, so that's why it was a good day to clean because there is not much happening. So, first step is done. First project is done. The second project is my spice shelf. It does look organized on this side, <laughs> but on this side it is pretty much a mess and there is also spillage of salt and other spices. And yeah, this, this side is making me anxious and things are falling over and falling down and I just don't want to have any accidents. So I need to concise this and reorganize it a little bit. As you can see, there is definitely some spillage. I think this is mostly salt and baking soda. <laughs> I need to clean that out. So I have this um, baking powder, vanilla sugar and yeast. In these packets and they are very hard to contain just like loosely so I have this box which I currently have some tea inside this but I can put the tea into a glass jar instead and then I can maybe concise these packets inside here so that they are not falling all over the place and also if I open one but I don't use it up completely then I can put it back here standing so that it will not spill all over the shell. Ah, oh, it fits perfectly. Nice. So I just swiped this one out. Now it's clean and let's hope that I can fit everything in here. Ah, oh, this is fantastic. Everything fits. I can even put the top on it, even though I probably don't need to. Yeah, I don't need the top. I can just use it like this. Perfect. 
Okay, so I also want to decant these uh, chilies that I use to grind up and then I make my chili powder from it because this one doesn't really match with my container so I want to use like a container like this to put this and store this. Okay, I found this container. Uh, I didn't find anything closer to this size. I don't have anything else in that size, so I'm gonna use this big one because hmm, I'm not sure if my smaller containers would be big enough for the amount. pretty good I mean it's only half full hmm not sure if like this this size would not be enough okay let's see how can I put everything back this is still a bit wet let me try it and I also washed this one because it also had some spice spillage difficult. I have this salt. I'm gonna put this somewhere else because it's best stock actually so I don't need it here. Then I have some baking stuff and I have some salt. This is also baking. This is also baking. Vanilla sugar baking soda, vanilla aroma vegetable broth and miso broth so i guess since i'm not making many vegetables this time around i'm also not baking much because it's too hot so i can put that in the back and then all the salts can come closer to the front and then my spices will be okay as they were actually but i might need to refill some of these I know that I need to buy basil. This is empty almost. Mm, this is rosemary. I have already a refill for rosemary. I have some back stock of stuff, but there is still some rosemary on the bottom of this, so I'm not refilling it just yet. everything fit perfectly this is the updated cupboard it didn't change too much but it just needed to be cleaned and a little bit reorganized so that it is more functional and now i have on this area as well like concise things because everything was just kind of messy in the back i have things that i don't use very often and then here i have all my different kind of salts i have also my baking stuff on this side all in one area and then my vegetable and miso broth on top of each other that makes kind of sense to me so I think this should work okay next up is my pantry this is the pantry here I just kind of want to check what I have I also know that I have back stock of certain things hidden in the back of these shelves and I kind of want to contain all the back stock somewhere together I might have to buy a small container for that but I anyway will have to buy some containers for my bathroom project so I will probably combine the two I just want to see what is it that I need to store and there are some things in the bag that I want to <laughs> check and probably rehome to somewhere else for example like this salt is back stock right I, I will refill my Himalayan salt grinder from this salt 
and then I have some more stuff. But then I also have all my canned goods here and then I have my decanted goods like lentils, chickpeas, beans, flowers, different kind of nuts, quinoa, rice, these kind of things. I also want to see what I need to refill anytime soon so that I will put it on my shopping list. Let's go from the bottom to the top. These were on sale in Lidl last week, so now I have five of them. <laughs> That's like the most that I have ever had probably, but it was half price, so I had to stock up. <laughs> because there are periods of time when I use this a lot, but I think in the summer I don't use it that much, so it's good to have in advance for the winter. Tomato products, they also had these half price, so I got some of that too. And then beans, I seem to be running out of beans. I have one of each. I have one black, one kidney and one white bean can. I also have dried beans, but sometimes for the convenience I use these. Uh, so I will probably have to get some more, because usually I like to have at least two cans at home. Chickpeas, I also only have one can and Corn, I also only have one can, which I also usually like to have more. And then I have some marmalade, homemade, my mom made them. And then here is the hidden backstop of the spices. I have some sesame seeds, which I might be able to actually fill here, fit here. Then I don't have to keep the backstop anymore. That would be marvelous. Oh, perfect. This fits. This is one down already and then what's this that's interesting um i didn't know i had this i have cardamom back stock i wonder if this fits here ah this also fits two down perfect great i also have some paprika let me see does this fit in here? Probably not. Um, rosemary, as we have checked, there is still a little bit in the bottom of the rosemary, so I want to use that up before I refill it. I think this is thyme, but I also have still some in the thyme, so I will not refill that one yet. And then this part is empty. And I have my seeds. And then this is also back stock. This is quinoa. I can actually refill it now because there is space in the quinoa jar for the back stock. So that's fantastic. This is breadcrumbs and I have some refill of the breadcrumbs as well, which might actually now as well because it's very little that my class to store then this is also back stock but I think I can just put it in the fridge because there's space for it and anyway after opening I would store this in the fridge so that fits there um, and I also have back stock for ketchup which could also theoretically go in the fridge then I have some flour. This is bread flour. And then I have bread flour in here as well. But this is different kind of bread flour, so I don't want to mix the two. So this is back stock, basically. Coconut flour. Gluten-free flour. You actually, I have back stock of this, and I think this will now fit in here. Hopefully. This package is so difficult to empty. Wow, it's so long <laughs> and narrow. Okay, I think it's empty now, more or less. Uh, I mean, there is flour spilling everywhere. Okay. Okay. 
Let me clean these three shells and then we will go on to the top. So here is where I keep my back stock as well as pasta and rice. Like I have I have these four white rice, but I also keep arborio rice, then I have lasagna, I also have sushi rice, I have back stock, this is um, for the pumpkin seeds, then I have some noodles and pasta, penne, another penne, then I have back stock of coconut flour, and then I also have some more backstock here and I'm not sure it would all fit into one basket. So I was thinking of keeping these just for my noodles and pasta. And then for the backstock, I would have another basket, a smaller one, which I could tuck inside into this small space, which is not very wide, but it still has some height to it and depth in there so normally i don't put anything in there or just like backstock i put there but i try to avoid shoving things in there because it's so deep and it would be forgotten i could get a box here i just have to measure and then i could put the small backstock of things which are open like the nuts and seeds and the spice packages which are already open but are not yet used so that's the idea which would leave this box just to be arborio rice, sushi rice, noodles and pasta, basically. And maybe flower backstock if it's like this big. So this would be like for the big things, full packages of flowers and rice and lasagna and noodles. And then the smaller box would be for the small things like salt backstock and spice backstock and nuts. So that's the idea. So I have to measure the space here. It is 24 centimeters deep. Oops, 17 centimeters tall. And it could be up to 40 centimeters deep, but it doesn't have to be 40 centimeters or wide. So 25, 17 and whatever. I mean, 40 max. 24, sorry, 24, 17, and then 40 in depth. I'm gonna have to write it down. And then <laughs> I have some extra glass jars again here, which I again have to go through my glass jars because I have way too much and declutter them. And then these plastic containers are staying. I, I use them to free stuff or if I want to take something somewhere, they're actually quite practical. I used this last weekend, for example, to take some watermelon to the park. So that was nice because I otherwise have glass containers and I don't want to take the glass containers to the park, for example. Okay, so in here, I'm gonna leave it like this, I think. So this is now going back to the top of the shelf. And for me it makes sense because I am quite tall, so I can actually reach it and take it down without having to climb up there. Before I didn't have the plastic box, then sometimes I had to climb up to see like what is in the back, but with this box, actually this was solved and this box is exactly the size that can fit here. So that was a great organizational purchase for me. I think I need to buy rice again. <laughs> How do you know if flour is stale? Honestly, this is pretty old and this is whole wheat flour, so I'm pretty sure this is already, this is already stale. I don't know how to test it though. And the same with the rice flour, which is also pretty old. 
it's almost a year expired and it is also whole wheat or whole, how do you call that whole wheat rice flour whole, brown rice flour i don't know actually but these two i think these two i'm gonna toss and i'm gonna I'm, i haven't been using them so i can well i have been using the rice flour but very small amounts of it instead of cornstarch if i need cornstarch i use rice flour but that's the only time when i use it basically and the whole wheat flour I haven't used in a long time because I'm trying to eat gluten-free and this is still proper flour with gluten in it. I could use this jar for something else. And this jar probably also too. And get a small rice flour if they sell small packages. I'm not sure. This will be emptied and cleaned out. And I have coconut flour that I do use lentils that I do go through and then the beans that I also do go through slowly but surely I go through them and then I have quinoa which I go through quite quickly lentils breadcrumbs then I have these two soup noodles that uh, I got from my mom when she was sending me soup and she sent me the noodles separately so that I can cook it in the soup but these are also with gluten and I never make soup with this kind of noodles. So I'm gonna bring these back to my mom so that she uses them up because I will... They have been here for a while and I don't seem to use them. So I'm gonna give these to my mom. And then now I have so much space here because... Almost an empty shelf because then I have I store these seeds in here. And that's about it. So let's see, next shelf is my canned goods and maybe I will reshuffle this a little bit. So I'm gonna get a small basket for the back stock, which you can see here. At the moment I have this much, which is not a lot. And then here I have all my canned goods. Uh, usually I have more beans. Now I have one of each actually only. So maybe this will be shuffled a little bit to that side and we'll have some more beans later on. I also tend to have more of the tomatoes usually. And then this shelf has currently all the seeds. There is nothing in the third or the second row here. Uh, I just have some nuts and then quinoa, lentils, breadcrumbs and the marmalade. And this is where I'm gonna put the basket with the back stock so for now i'm just gonna shove this back stock in here and tomorrow i will go to the store to buy a little box plastic box probably and then my pretty canisters and then the big box with the pasta and noodles and stuff Ah, this feels so good to have this organized. It wasn't super unorganized, but this definitely feels so much better now. And also just getting rid of this stuff. Well, this came from the fridge. I had <laughs> some half cabbage, which started to sprout in the fridge. I live alone. It was very difficult to get through two cabbages. I almost managed to get through this one, but I was having the trouble with this one. I was eating cabbage for two weeks and I still have whatever. Don't ask me. I managed to empty all of these and all of these. I'm gonna empty these, clean them and use them for something else. And these two I'm going to bring back to my mom. So it was a successful reorganization.